the Trump voters. I think the New York Times since Election Day has done six, seven articles about Trump voters. What do they think? Who do they support? They put one uh, Biden voter story on the front page, and it was about how black voters don't aren't really excited about Joe Biden. <laughs> that right. was the thing. That right. Was the I remember. And they literally not only got him nominated, got him elected, flipped Georgia, and the New York Times first and only Biden voter story I've seen since he got almost 80 million votes was the idea, well, you know, his base isn't really excited about him. But oh my gosh, that Trump base. Oh, let's go interview them in Ohio. Let's they'll they'll tell us how what's really important in American politics. Has the losing candidate has never <laughs> The press has never cared about the losing candidate. He's never cared about the supporters uh, of losing candidates. Hillary, right. Hillary's supporters got erased. They got erased while she was running, and they certainly got erased after she lost. Yeah. Think yep. anyone cared about Al Gore supporters? And I mean, this is once again uh, the press is just inventing out of whole cloth this this news beat. Uh, they've been wed to it for four years, and they are just not going to let it go. You know, these are just hardworking people. There's nothing, you know, racist or xenophobic or dark. There are no dark undercurrents. These are just, this is, the, you know, the, they treat them like the silent majority uh, for four years. And they're clearly not. I mean, Trump lost by five million votes. You know, Biden flipped five states on Election Day. Um, but they just don't seem to be that interested in that, that brown, black and white coalition that's, that's been created. Um, and we know the new we've discussed before the New York Times trying is trying to sustain its bottom line, sell subscriptions to that base. Um, one, but it's ridiculous because Trump is maligning the New York Times to the base. Yeah. So that doesn't make it. So you're kissing up to a base that that's really that's never going to accept complete. the New York Times. Right. And then the question is. You know, for the Beltway media to say Republicans don't have a choice. Yeah. But it's as if the Beltway media is admitting they don't have a choice either. I don't understand why they don't have a choice. Uh, but to normalize all of this and cover it. And, and you're right, Eric. I, I was looking back and this goes back. I know it's impolite to say anything um, necessarily negative about John McCain these days. But remember, after 2008. Um, he lost. Right. John McCain was on the Sunday morning talk shows, every oh, one of them, every the single Sunday. Nonstop. We never saw um, uh, Jimmy Carter no, right. on, on a Sunday morning talk show when he lost. Walter Mondale on a Sunday morning talk show when he lost. Michael Dukakis on a Sunday morning talk show. John Kerry, Al Gore, right. Hillary Clinton. When you, uh -huh. when you were a Democrat and you lose. Right. That's the end of it. You don't get any more coverage, nor, and as you said, nor do your supporters. But a Republican loses. We saw it with 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 John McCain. He even tried to, you know, uh, I remember when Bob Dole became a meme. He lost and started making commercials. It was adorable, Bob Dole, you know. But when it's a Democrat, oh no, 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 we don't even want any part of that. It, it, it's that's the that's the media, and and well, I think it's time to admit what they really do. Well, and, and it's even worse than that, because you think about, um, you know, when Obama won 2008, I, you know, I went back and I looked at uh, looked at the, the coverage and there were no Obama voter stories in in early 2009. They didn't send reporters down to Baltimore and Atlanta and Chicago. In fact, what was the dominant story in March, April, May of 2009? The Tea Party, the anti-Obama movement, the right wing haters. That's who the press focused on. So we had, a, we had a Democrat win a landslide and the press focused on his critics. We had Trump lose the popular vote and we had the press focus on his supporters for four years. And, and now Trump loses by 5 million. The press is focused on his supporters. I mean, we see this continuum. Democratic voters are just of no interest uh, to the most of the Beltway press. And really the Democratic Party. I mean, the Republican Party is seen as being super savvy. They're the ones who right. run the city. They're the run who they're the ones who run the agenda. And their supporters, their white supporters, are the most important voters in America. That has been the that has been the message for five years. 
and it hasn't changed since since Trump lost by five million votes. So, so just to just to be clear, you just said his white support is white people are the most important people in America. I think that's what oh, you yeah. said. Absolutely. So, that, that has been the news, message. y'all. That has okay. been the message nonstop. <laughs> this is this is what does not change um, um, about America. And 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 just real quick, even more specific, it's it's white working class Midwestern voters who are the most important voices in America. That has been the message nonstop for five years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you are also making the case that the Biden White House should expel Fox, right? Yeah, I mean, in terms of credentials, I I, I don't see. I mean, Trump White House has turned the press briefing room into a joke. They have Gateway Pundit. They have OAN. They have all these conspiracy nuts. So Biden has to come in and obviously fumigate all that. You know, there's no more day passes for these right wing nut jobs who turn these briefings into kind of a farce by basically asking questions in the form of Trump talking points. Uh, but I, yeah, I think it's time to get rid of Fox News. Why, why are we going to why is the Democratic administration going to legitimize them with, with press credentials. You know, Obama, you know, when he first came into office, uh, they put up a, 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 they tried to put up a fight and they said, we're not, you know, this is a propaganda arm. We're not going to treat them like a news organization. Mm-hmm. Uh, they got absolutely steamrolled by the Beltway press. I mean, there was a revolt on behalf of Fox News. Uh, you, How can you do that? Why is the White House criticizing a news outlet? Uh, and, and one of uh, Obama's um, advisors this week wrote a really good piece saying, you know, we lost our nerve. And, you know, honestly, in the scheme of things, you know, the economy was uh, being destroyed. They had to bail out the, the auto. And there was a lot going on when Obama took over. So I think they decided, you know, what, we're not going to fight this fight for Fox yeah. News. Yeah. Uh, fast, fast forward 12 years. It's, you know, and the argument then was, well, Fox, you know, Fox during the day is really serious. All our friends work at Fox. They're really good people. We know them. Why are you going to, you know, attack? Yes, you know, at that at that point, Bill O'Reilly at night. Uh, but, you know, they're, they're serious people. Uh, after watching Fox News lie about a pandemic for this entire year, watching them, uh, um, again, attack free and fair elections, it, it's virtually impossible. CNN has even been much more aggressive. Um calling out Fox News, uh, it's almost impo- it's virtually impossible to make the argument that they're, a, they're a, not even not only a, a serious nor- news organization, they're not even a news organization. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So at the, that point, what, what's the point of having them in the press briefing? You know, uh, part of the problem is we're not with our politics and our in our discussions, we're not having an honest discussion about what Fox News is. Uh, and and one way you can have that honest discussion is just say, you know, what this your propaganda. Uh, that's great. Good luck, Murdoch. Go make a lot of money. But we're not going to give you the trappings. We're not going to give you the credentials. We're not going to give you the legitimacy. We're not going to do that on our watch. Having said all that, I'd be I'd be shocked if the Biden administration did it. But this is a way this is what Democrats have to do. Uh, I've been making that argument for a long time. But again, I think 2020 was just such a radical um, break from reality for Fox News again, you know, to lie about a public health crisis every day for 10 months. Uh, to me, that 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 ends your <laughs> any any claim you have to being uh, allowed inside the White House and ask questions and things like that. There are even some making the argument that there may be grounds for a class action. Oh, yeah. Right. Like Fox, you know, yeah, because they've been actively telling people don't wear masks, don't yeah. do this. Oh, so, you know, they've I mean, I, how many millions of how many cases does America have now? Twelve, eleven million, twelve million cases. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Fox News is infected. I used to say thousands. I don't know. They've indirectly maybe infected a million people. They've killed thousands. There's no question. Um, uh, if you if I mean, look at their age demographic. I mean, the average average uh, viewers, what, 62, 64 years? I mean, they are right in the COVID, you know, uh, wheelhouse, uh, uh, you know, uh, of uh, you add in a couple health issues, health problems. Uh, I mean, thousands have died. Thousands of their viewers have died uh, because, you know, Laura Ingram still says, 
you know, don't wear a mask. It's a joke. Uh, so, yeah. And again, I think once you go down that road, this is new. Fox News has never, it, it, you know, killed as many people as they have this year. Um, so I think it's the perfect time to to make a declaration and just say, you know what, go go do your thing. Oh, and the other point, and the, and the other quick point is, you know, it's very, it is very interesting. Fox News is under real, you know, marketplace pressure during this, you know, fake recount or fake whatever is going on. Uh, they're being outflanked by uh, outlets like Newsmax and OAN and things like that, who are just going all in that, you know, the election was stolen. Fox News isn't doing that 24 seven. They're losing some of their viewers. So I think with the Biden administration, they're just going to they're going to go bonkers <laughs> on the Biden administrations just to prove the right wing bona fides. So anyone who thinks, you know, uh, you know, Fox News might turn the page with the Biden administration, uh, I think it's going to be the opposite. I think they're just going to go berserk.